welcome. This is Business on Course, but we've got a twist. This is a Fashion on Course show with Nikhil of Shantanu and Nikhil. Thanks very much. Always welcome. a pleasure. And thanks for adding colour to this show besides the green that we always have. Great to break the morning on a summer day like this. This is to wake you up. I or you, I I, or you, or you, because I'm sure you're the one with the late nights uh, in the fashion world. But it's very interesting. I don't know many fashion designers who get themselves onto the golf course. How did it all happen to you? Well, I, um, it happened from class 11, I remember, because um, I didn't want to go to school uh, and spend time in my classes, which is right next door. So I said, why don't we figure out a, a way by which I can get out of school legitimately and mm -hmm. uh, go and play a sport? So okay. it turned out that our principal at that time, who was uh, an ex-Mayo uh, principal, okay. Mr. R.D. Singh, was very interested in golf. And I once took him for a game of golf. And, after and he thought he had potential. And one, I mean, luckily I hit a couple of birdies in, in nine holes. That's when it all started. He said, why don't you go out and play golf uh, for the... For the school. For the school. Fantastic. And I said, yeah, why don't I do it five times a week? <laughs> <laughs> and so that's and how the story... Let's not include the weekend on it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it started from, a, from once a week and then the story never finished. It never just continued. finished. But how did you sort of keep it up when, uh, when you got into serious fashion, for example? And... I'm sure at some point or the other you must have thought this has, there has to be a way by which you can bridge fashion and golf as well. I mean, we see it on you right now, mm. but otherwise. Um, as a sportsman, um, Shantanu has been a tennis player for the city and I've been a swimmer. Um, it's been very natural for us to be um, sporty and mm. this is really our meditation. For me, it is. I mean, I come out, there's no one. Um, it's pure natural and... and um, and you're playing against yourself. And that's why we don't see you doing Namaste Yoga on any of the channels. No, this no is Namaste. Very different. At all. I mean, this is where it all happens because, you know, you play with a bunch of competitive golfers and competition is something that, and even in our business, is very important. Yes, there is creativity and there is, there is, a, lot of, um, there is a lot of work on yourself yeah. from a creative standpoint, but it's also important to be competitive. And good com competition is always great, which you don't hear so much of our industry. So we want to bring that newness to it. Um, That's to what I was going to come to. I mean, this is the time when, in general, competition has a, a tougher platter ahead because of everybody talking of a slowdown. And I'm sure the sure. fashion industry is not really, you know, separate from what's happening across India and across the world. Might be better off or worse off, but not really separated. How do you interpret this slowdown? And are you actually trying to ride the recession? Well, there are two things. Firstly, um, the fashion industry is really not an industry in this country. Mm. Uh, it is... Um, Highly fragmented. Yes, I mean, it is only for a certain segment. And, okay, if you look at that segment, what really changes in their pattern? Are they going to travel less? Maybe. Uh, are they going to stop going out and eating and dining it at the places they love to? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So that's where we come in. Uh, are they not going to get? Are they not going to get married? I don't think so. So from our perspective, yes, there would be certain changes in uh, in a product line uh, between a price point of an X and a Y but mm -hmm. I don't see in a totality um, that there'll be a lot of things that will change uh, on the other hand we're going more aggressive uh, it's a great time to invest in um, uh, in land uh, to go out and purchase new stores right. or, um, get rentals. Or, or lease uh, yeah. get great lease uh, stories with a larger number of years uh, lesser number of uh, months of security so we're really going ahead and opening two stores so, on the hindsight, I think it's working out much better for us.